Yo guys, what is going on? It is Burke Crown coming at you with a coin video, a way to make coins, the best way to make coins in my opinion, and get cards as well. So you're trying to save for X Factors, Power Up Icons, that's all going to take time, but we still need to improve our team along the way. I'm going to show you one of the best ways and easiest ways to make a aggressive amount of coins to build your team. EA keeps dropping cards, we need to be able to get some of these cards, try them out, have fun, and build a new team. Well, let's see what we got to help you guys do that, and we're going to open packs along the way that we got through objectives. So let's get into it, guys. I hope you do enjoy it. If you do, smash that like button. But coins, how are we going to make a ton of them? When, when it comes to building our teams, I think MSPs have drifted away. And we got cards like this coming out. The Logan Cooley and the Clayton Keller are both very good. But how are we going to get coins to obtain these cards? Well, the best way is going to be objectives. We're going to see here Team of the Week gives us a 75 overall player. But the most powerful objectives are going to be your weekly competitive objectives. You see here I already got six done and they're very simple to do. Semi-pro on uh, squad battles or rivals. And you can do semi-pro or higher on squad battles or rivals. You can get 2,500 coins, 5,000 coins, so now you're at 7,500 coins, 10,000 coins, 17,500 17, coins, and then another 15,000 coins. You can get over 32,000 coins just by playing the game. That is huge, but also you get packs. And I got a couple of packs here so you can see what we're going to be getting. We've got competitive pack competitive premium pack and competitive elite pack i didn't get a chance to get the mega pack but i can't wait to see what's in there so while we also got all those we get to earn a little bit of xp from doing our dailies and uh some collectibles for team of the week which we'll end up using later and then the hut game breakers and then also guys don't forget just taking shots is a huge way to make coins this year a thousand shots get you 35,000 coins. Now you gotta work your way up there because as you start down here, you start at 100 shots, 3,500 coins, 200 shots, 3,500 coins, then 500 shots sets up to a 10,000 coins, but it eventually works its way up to 35,000 coins. And that is a lot of coins for just taking a thousand shots at net while you're playing. Now we'll just send all those to our collection and then we will go open a couple of those competitive packs because I don't know about you, I'm very curious to see what's in them. So here's a couple of things we just earned through our objectives, like the 77 overall player that we can use for team builders. But we got Anthony Duclair, which is actually a huge pull because he is fast. And then our 75 overall player, that is going to be continually going to the Nylander. I know that uh, the team of the weeks use 75s, but I need to get my X Factors cooking so I can get Nylander because he is the chase. Right now I'm working on one card at a time and I'm doing Nylander, then I'm going to go to Sundin. And then maybe I'll look at a team of the week, depending on who we got. So the, the competitive pack wasn't bad. We got 75, 76, 77. That's all going to help me with Nylander. And that's a very good pack for me to get. So is the premium pack going to be better? Hopefully. Hopefully I at least get 75 pluses. We get a Robin Leonard. We got him. We don't need him. These ones are actually tradable. So this one's actually decent because that's going to fetch me a fair amount of coins, which I'm definitely going to sell both of these cards because those cards are going to fetch me 12,000 right there and this card I will probably just send to my collection and I'll deal with him later but that was a really good pack now the competitive elite pack what is this going to give me hopefully it gives me something good because it is tradable so we got a 75 overall we get an 80 overall Sam Bennett that is huge team of the weeks right now are using 80 overall cards so they have gone up in price I'm going to get that on the market as fast as I can and then we get a 78 overall Sam Montebo shut out the Leafs that was a tough game but that happens and then we've got a 77 overall and a 77 overall so this was actually a massive coin pack as these cards sell for a decent amount so i am literally just going to send all of those to the trade pile and make good coins off of just playing the game like right now 75s are selling for six thousand coins so this is seven cards that are all worth six thousand coins some worth higher because they're 77 pluses for team builders and an 80 overall card this is going to make me a decent amount of coins to help me get that william nylander which is the chase but I can't spend that coin on William Nylander because the cards are so aggressive. I just 
got to do the uh, untradables, which I'm getting a lot of, and I keep working on the XP path, which is going to give me more 75 pluses. But uh, doing the moments right now that are giving 75 pluses are big because that's going to help me. So what's Sam Bennett going for? We're going to see he's going for 10K. So we're going to throw him up for 8,500. And that alone is a great set of co set of coins to add on top of the coins I already got from doing the competitive objectives, right? So you take those 32,000 coins I got, you add that 8,000. Just for playing the game, squad battles, rivals, whatever you want to do, you don't have to do anything but play. Getting those wins done gets you massive coins, and you're getting coins for winning in rivals too, right? So, like, it's it's a win-win, lots of coins, nice addition. Now I'm going to go sell all this stuff and make some coins. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy the video. Get out there, make those coins. Smash those objectives, smash those moments, because that is a lot of cards and a lot of coins to help you build this team. And... Like, guys, coins are going to be the way you're going to build your team this year. It's not going to be with cards. We don't seem to be getting a lot of fodder. So how are you going to build your team? You're going to build it with coins. You're going to go to the auction house. You're going to buy the player you want. And then you can sell that player later and buy another one. Buy another one. Try different players. Build different teams. But coins are going to be the way to do it. So let's put MSPs behind us. MSPs might be a thing of the past unless this game changes how we're getting cards. But if MSPs are going to need 75s to build them, and 75s are 6, 7k, it's not going to be worth it to build an MSP, guys. So we're going to have to shift the way we make teams, make our coins off the cards we get, and buy the players we want. And that will be a way to build a team. I've got 280,000 coins, and that is going to be a good amount. I could get myself Connor with that, but I already have him. So now it's going to be focusing on William Elander. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. Make your coins, have some fun, and until next time, Ciao, ciao.